I'm not really much of a carpenter, but I've built a house. I helped a guy build a house, and I've done a bunch of renovations, and I've been doing a bunch of work to my place. So I'm, I'm doing this handyman gig right now, and one of the things i got to do is try to refurbish some windows on some uh, rental units. So in this video, I want to show you the solution that I've come up with for repairing old wooden windows that don't seem to be closing properly and uh, that may be slightly rotten. I was told these windows were, were pretty rotten, uh, but in pulling these apart, you know, and in inspecting them, it, it, they look like they're about maybe 96 to 92% uh, good still. So uh, this is me pulling the window apart, and they're really simple to come apart. There's little clips that you need to slide up on these arms here. There were little, on the, the closing lever mechanism there, uh, there were little tabs that just need to be slid out. You can do that by hand. And then the window itself slides down in the tracks and then you can pull them out uh, slide them down and then pull them out in the recess in the middle of the window uh, one of the problems that i found with uh, the the windows not closing properly was just the uh, the fact that the glass actually slid down in the window frame which is what you can see in this image here uh, the other reason they weren't really closing all that great was the the lever mechanism itself the arms and the lever mechanism seem to be bent so that's one thing that you have to do that's one solution that i'm trying to come up with is is finding a good way to possibly either bend the arms back i was able to replace the mechanism uh, with uh, a spare one that we had in a window that was no longer being used i was uh, replacing some window uh, ac window units uh, so i was able to rob an old mechanism that wasn't able to be used in the one window that i've replaced so far uh, but in the second one that I've done, uh, I'm going to end up having to probably bend the armatures, which uh, I won't have in this video, but it, it's, I think it's going to be pretty well straightforward. I think I'm just going to put the the arms in a vise and then kind of bang them with a mallet, and then that should get them bent straighter. The other problem you'll have with the lever mechanism itself is that uh, the in in the handle itself uh it just seems to be completely wallered out in which case you're gonna have to replace that lever mechanism but uh doing this little trick here that you'll see further on in the video where i route around the bottom of the frame uh is going to help significantly depending on how bad the window is uh, i will at least solve half the problem if not more uh but uh the other problem you're going to run into is though you might be able to get the window to close all the way uh if it is if it doesn't jam up uh, this part here where you can see the glass sliding down is gonna is gonna cause you your second problem where the window is gonna bind up in the frame just bending the lever mechanism back out again so let's uh, go a little further down this video you can kind of see what I'm talking about so the glass actually slides out and what you can see here is the witness mark essentially is this is the silicone bead and what you need to realize uh, when you're replacing this silicone, which you'll see me do it further on in the video, I use DAP uh, exterior, uh, which is made with silicone for exterior use. I was criticized by uh, some of the other carpenters, some of the carpenters, I'm not a carpenter myself, I was criticized by some of the carpenters for using DAP. They said DAP is strictly interior. Um, I made sure that the, the product that I was using was interior and exterior. Uh, it says right on the bottle that's perfectly fine but i just want to make that as a quick mention maybe you don't want to use that maybe you just want to use a, a strictly paintable it's a good idea to use paintable uh, if you're gonna have to repaint the windows so you don't have to uh, be so careful about uh, not painting the the, the bead itself uh, so anyways just want to make quick mention of that but you can see the witness mark here how the glass slides out of the top of the frame and then as we see further on this video uh, this is the top of the frame, which is still fine, but the bottom starts to get a little rotten, and then this starts to separate on the bottom as well. So uh, this part of the frame ends up sliding down, and then the glass slides down as well. So it all needs to be uh, pounded back together, but you're going to see me doing a little bit of cleaning here. They had some weather stripping installed in the window to try to you know, solve some of the draft issues. The problem with weather stripping is that it's still gonna it's not gonna seal properly because on the top of the window it's still going to 
be close and then in the bottom so you would end up having to get a tapered a piece of tapered weather stripping which doesn't exist right because what's going to end up happening is it's going to be so tight in the top uh, that it's not going to want to close and then it's going to be loose in the bottom where you're going to need a really thick piece of weather stripping so you would either need a tapered piece of weather stripping or um yeah it just it just it just doesn't work or what they end up did what doing was they just ran the weather stripping halfway up but that means in the middle area you're going to still have a spot where there's a gap where there's no weather stripping but it's still got a bit of a gap anyways i kind of beat that one to death but uh, you're going to see me doing a bit of sanding on here one of the things that i need to do on the next window i have a bunch of these windows that i need to do is sand a bit more off the bottom of the window like i'm talking you know maybe not a quarter inch maybe three sixteenths of an inch it's gonna have, I'm gonna have to sand quite a bit more because what you're gonna see in a minute here uh, after i clean off some of the silicone and scrape some of the paint do some sanding is you're gonna see me banging the window back together i take a piece of block and uh this is right before i do that though actually i, I show you a little bit of how I clean some of the paint off the window, the existing paint and silicone. Uh, razor blade works really well. I actually learned this trick uh, from masonry. Uh, when we are working in residential areas and we get some of our mortar on windows, actually razor blades work really great for cleaning mortar and sand and dirt and cement off of windows. They work really well. So here you can see me pounding the window back together. You're not going to want to hammer directly on the frame maybe if you got like a dead blow or a rubber mallet or something it would be okay i would still recommend using a block of wood i would have even actually liked using a larger block of wood maybe a two by six or a two by eight uh, you can see me after i pound it back together i uh, can and then i i use some some nails i suppose you could use maybe just a pneumatic brad nailer i just went and bought some finishing nails uh these are a bit more substantial uh, a bit stronger uh, the wood on the bottom is slightly more weathered, slightly a little looser, softer. So I wanted to go with a bit more of a significant and uh, stronger nail. Uh, so after I pound that back together, I nail these together. And then again, this is the part where you're probably going to want to take, like, you know, I sanded the paint off the bottom at the very least and sanded, you know, a little bit of the wood down. Maybe I took like a sixteenth of an inch off the most. You're going to probably want to take like, 3 sixteenths to a quarter of an inch off the bottom so it does close easier uh, that's a pretty significant thing uh, that's a pretty important thing that I want to emphasize emphasize so as you can see here I'm nailing it back together I didn't bother or having to remove the old nails because they were just kind of so loose and wallered out in there when I pounded it back together you know it just it's kind of weaker wood one of the things I actually probably maybe would have liked to try to figure out is how to get some sort of wood glue in there i probably should have pumped a little bit of wood glue into that uh that joint before i pounded it back together as well uh now i think about it, i'm going to do that on my next windows so you can see me uh resealing the window pane itself and i actually use this this dap which i think is a great product again i was criticized for using it but i use it for everything i use it for wood filler i use it for block filler for patching compound uh so now i'm putting a straight edge on the window frame here because I'm actually going to have to router out the jam where the mounting bracket for the lecker lever mechanism mechanism sits so uh, part of the reason that these don't close all the way is because this the window pane slid down causing it to jam and then people end up reefing on that handle bending the le lever mechanism now if you can just replace the lever mechanism that's a great way to go you can also try to bend the lever mechanism back some but also one of the problems with the lever mechanism is it gets a bit wallered out so unless you replace it this is another path you can go down if you have a router i guess anyways if you don't have a router you're kind of screwed but uh is just routering the area where the brackets sit so that they're deeper so that essentially makes it so that the lever mechanism has to grab deeper which will end up pulling the window back in further uh, i apologize if i explain that in the most convoluted way possible but um, sometimes that's just how it goes in these videos and for whatever reason <laughs> i felt like you guys needed to see the entire <laughs> clip here of me uh, routering this out 
when uh, something about routers, you might want to know, there's a direction you want to generally go with your router. If you go one way, it's going to pull in towards your guide. And if you try to go the other direction, like if you try to go to your, I guess it would be left, it's actually going to push away, which you still can go that direction, but you're going to find that it's harder to keep against your guide because it's going to want to push away from your guide. Now I'm cleaning, and this, a brush is a great thing to have. You know, compressed air is also a great thing to have to clean your work uh, space off, but a brush is a very important thing that I have all the time with me, especially even when I'm sanding on the house. Uh, I, can, I can brush things off. Um, so now you're seeing me because now that I've routered where these sat before, you can see here, uh, so that these sit deeper, right? So that pulls the window in tighter. And now that I've routered this in deeper, I think it showed you in a, uh, uh, a bit ago there, where I, I have to use shallower screws. Because if I use the original hardware, it would end up actually poking out of the front of the flame frame. And now that I'm using shallower screws in softer wood, more high, you know, heavier weathered wood, uh, I'm putting a little bit of wood glue on the back of these brackets just to keep them a little sturdier, just for, uh, you know, a little added insurance. And uh, I made marks where the brackets went because you're no longer going to have witness marks when you take the bracket off. Uh, so I made marks on the frame where they went, but also you're still going to be able to see the existing holes to make sure that the spacing is correct on them, which, and you don't have, you know, it's not that crucial. It isn't a hundred percent important uh, because there is a little bit of wiggle room in the, uh, the mounting bracketry itself. And then the rest of this video, I think is pretty much just me uh, masking off the window frame. Now on the inside of the window frame, it was stained to match the interior of the kitchen. And then on the outside, uh, we've decided to paint all of the windows bright white because one of the tenants uh, decided to uh, refurbish essentially their window, their AC unit. So uh, we decided to just carry on with that color instead of repainting that window. It actually looks pretty good. You know, all, you know, most new windows, PVC windows are all white anyways. So it's, it's, you know, it's not that big of an issue going from the brown to the white, but now we're going to have to go around and make sure that we paint all of the windows. And you can see me, again, like I say, doing a little bit of sanding here and just uh, caulking uh, any areas that are highly weathered or uh, any areas uh, before that uh, might get water uh, seeping back into the house. I just caulk all of that stuff. And then uh, I got... Because of the, the time of year, actually, that I'm doing this, I also got very fast drying paint and fast drying uh, caulking as well. And I think we're pretty much getting pretty close to the end of the video. So you're just going to see me reinstalling these uh, uh, weather seals in here also. So again, I installed this weather seal back on here. But then once you put it back in the window, the, the window doesn't slide all the way back up. You're not able to actually get it all the way back up. So I'm saying you're going to need to take about 3 sixteenths of an inch off here uh, because you don't gain all that back. You can gain some of it back. Um, so you're definitely going to want to bang that back together, but uh, you're going to have to sand some off, and you may or may not be able to reuse some of these weather strips here. And be perfectly honest with you, I had a quite a bit of trouble trying to find these strips as well. You're not going to be able to find these replacement strips in big box stores for these old wooden windows. So I'm not really sure where you pick these up at, or maybe you can in your area. I know it's just we have kind of limited selection uh, in, you know, in Canada. So uh, that's pretty much it. Like I say, we're just going to kind of finish out.